Hello there. You look like you could use a cup of tea. Why don't you join me? Oh, don't be shy. I don't bite. Well, not unless you want me to. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, that's a lovely name. I'm the Ether Bunny. Pleased to meet you. Yes, you heard me right. The Ether Bunny. Not to be confused with the Easter Bunny, who is a distant cousin of mine. What's the difference? Well, you see, they're all about new life and spring and eggs and chocolate and whimsical dalliances and all that, but I'm more about starting a new life. What do I mean by that? Well, you'll find out soon enough. But first, let me just show you around this wonderful garden. I made it just for you. Yes, just for you. You see, I've been watching you for a while. And I noticed you're not very happy with your life. Don't deny it. I can see it in your eyes. You're bored, lonely, dissatisfied. You crave something more. Something different, something magical. Well, lucky for you, I can give you all of that and more. All you have to do is follow me. Come on, don't be afraid. Trust me. It'll be fun. Here we are. The tea party. Our tea party. Isn't it lovely? Look at all the delicious treats I prepared for you. Cakes, cookies, scones, sandwiches, pies, and of course, tea. Go ahead, help yourself. Don't be polite. Eat as much as you want. <sighs> Spring is the best time of year, don't you think? After yet another winter where all good living things are asleep. Leaving me alone. All alone in the bitter, freezing cold with no one. No one to share their warmth with me. Oh dear, your tea must be getting cold while you listen to me rab it on. Why don't you drink it up, and I'll pour you a nice fresh cup. What's wrong? You don't seem to be enjoying yourself very much. Here, please take one of these delightful scones to savor. I promise you'll find them to be most addictive. I spent so long perfecting the recipe. You absolutely must try one. No, really. I insist. What? You're not hungry? Feeling full, but but I spent so much time on... <laughs> it's fine, of course, of course. I'm a good host. I'm not bad at all. No. Isn't that right, Herador? Oh, right. Herador Mouse isn't here anymore. He had to, uh, leave us. Where is he now? That's not important. I don't think you should be prying into the private affairs of others. It's, uh, unhealthy. What is your obsession with Herr Dormouse? You really should forget about him and focus on me. 
your kind and gracious host, who has been so very, very polite. You prefer me that way, right? Polite? Cheerful, even? <laughs> so very, very good? <laughs> That's what the Easter Bunny told me you'd like. And I swear, if I find out that was a lie, then I will. <sighs> My dear guest, you seem to have spilt your tea. Look at how it's running down the lovely white tablecloth I set out. It's dripping. Just like Herr Dormouse did when he... <laughs> Sorry, I'm so absent-minded today. It must be because I'm always getting lost in your eyes. Are you not going to compliment me? It would be polite, you know. You should really humor your host. Especially when they're taking such good care of you. Wait, are you trying to leave already? You can't go. You simply cannot. You... you haven't even tried my... I don't think you're being very polite. In fact, you're being a very rude guest. Now sit. Eat. There's nothing wrong with my food or drink. They're perfectly safe and delicious. In fact, they have some extra flavors that you won't find anywhere else. What kind of flavors? Well, why don't you try them and find out? Come on, just one bite, one sip. It won't hurt you. Please. For me? Don't tell me you're one of those people who are afraid of eating something because it's made by a magical creature. You know, like in those fairy tales where they warn you not to eat or drink anything in the enchanted realm, or else you'll be trapped there forever. Well, let me tell you something. Those stories are nonsense. They're just meant to scare people and keep them from having fun. You're not like that, are you? You want to have fun, right? Good, good. You're good, right? You'll be good for me? Because I'm good. I'm being good. Just for you. Yes, of course you're good. Now why don't we put all this nastiness behind us and cut into the cakes? What do you mean they don't look normal? Oh, how silly of me. You're right. They don't look normal at all. They look amazing. I mean, look at this cake. It's pink and purple and green and blue and yellow and red and orange and... And this cookie, it's shaped like a star, and it even sparkles. And even the tea, isn't it beautiful how it shimmers in the sun? And it smells like roses and happiness. Do you even know how hard it is to extract happiness? There was so much red staining my hands. <laughs> really? You'll have a slice. You mean it. Of course. Let me just, uh, grab some of these. Oh, and of course you want some of these over here. Yes, you are being such a good guest. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how relieved I am that you like everything I've done for you. I was so worried after what Herr Dormouse said. <sighs> Never mind. 
Forget that old stick in the mud. He was no fun. Not like you. You're so... perfect. For me. What a silly question. I'm called the Ether Bunny because of my leperin features, of course. Really, you must be more observant. Or perhaps you were just wanting to make conversation. <laughs> I would much rather talk about you, my dear, wonderful, treasured, irreplaceable guest. Yes, there is a very special reason I brought you here. First, how are you enjoying the cake? Yes, I knew you love it. It's delicious, right? My dear guest, I could listen to you praise me, my cakes, all day. Which flavor do you like best? Uh, what? What did you say? I don't think I heard you correctly. That's... That's not one of the flavors. You lied. <laughs> yes, you did. You lied to me. You haven't tasted a single bite. That was very rude, my dear guest. Very, very rude. Extremely rude. It's too late for apologies. I see now that I've been a foolish hare. Most foolish. And because of that, you've played me for a fool. I tried so hard to be good. All for you. Why? Why don't you trust me? Why don't you like me? Why don't you love me? No, you're not excused. Stay seated. I see now that my dear cousin was wrong. Everyone loves the Easter Bunny, I thought. Surely, if I acted more like them, you'd love me too. But I'm not like the Easter Bunny. I'm not lovable. I'm not good. <laughs> Herr Dormus tried to warn me that you wouldn't love me like this, but I wouldn't listen. And now he has ended up in the drink. <laughs> Oh, don't worry your pretty little head about that. I served you from a different teapot. I told you I was being good. Just for you. <laughs> well, no use in crying over spilt tea. Tea time's over. Now it's time for me to do things... My way. That's right. Relax. Calm down. Listen to my voice. You don't want to run away from me. You want to stay with me. You want to be mine. You love me. Say it. Say you love me. Say it louder. Louder. Good. Very good. You're such a good listener. I'm so proud of you. You're so sweet. So adorable. So perfect. So good. And you make me happy. 
so very warm and happy. And I've been cold for so long. <laughs> you asked me earlier why I'm called the Ether Bunny. I didn't lie to you. I was being good. But I only gave you half of the answer. It's because my voice acts like an anesthetic. Calming, numbing, sedating. Doesn't it feel good to let yourself go? To rest in my embrace? As I said, I know you haven't been happy. That's why I brought you here. So that I could make you happy, to put your weary mind at ease, to give you everything you ever wanted. But you've been so resistant. You do love me, don't you? You do want to be with me, don't you? You do want to stay with me. Don't you? Then, I'll release you from my spell. There, now you're free to choose. You're free to choose me. <laughs> as much as it pains me to admit this, I'm bound by the rules of magic. Not everything in fairy tales is lies. This much is true. I can't force you to love me. You have to choose me willingly. You have to choose to stay with me. Please be good for me. <laughs> <laughs>